hi guys welcome to the post market analysis video of nifty and bank nifty for the 28th of february 2022 i hope you all had a successful and a profitable trading month this is the last trading session of uh, the february month of 2022 and first of all i want you to see how similar nifty and bank nifty look sometimes i am amazed at how similar they look their structure is so similar most of the times let's start analyzing them together today since they have both given us the same kind of price action see nifty opened with the red candle here and with this red candle it showed us that uh, the market was not exactly decided where it was supposed to go okay where it wanted to go this had broken the previous day low range exactly at this level here okay and this was the s1 the support one you can see support one written here similarly here the pdl was not broken by the first candle in bank nifty now i'm talking about bank nifty and this you can see is dl written here which means it is pdl and the line here let me just mark this line off this is the previous day low range and the first candle is here and it is a red candle but it has a small wick on the bottom okay this wick suggests that there are buyers on the bottom but it is obvious because the first candle has not broken out of the previous day low range here and then the second candle broke out of that range here but what did we have here exactly at this level we had already marked this level this was the virgin cpr coming from the previous trading session and we had marked that day coming from the 25th of february you can see here that virgin cpr neither in nifty nor in bank nifty was touched so we had marked the virgin cpr coming from the 25th see this is the virgin cpr and this is also the virgin cpr okay the top one is in nifty the bottom one is in bank nifty and now going for, going ahead we can see here that uh, nifty actually gave a reversal at the virgin cpr 9:40 am candle was the candle that actually broke out of virgin cpr and the 9:40 am candle was still inside the virgin cpr in bank nifty and bank nifty was showing some bearishness in this entire area it wasn't showing a lot of bullish strength at that time and it was taking resistance around the pdl itself now the pdl was broken by this candle here the second candle here and this one the 9:40 am candle broke it as a resistance but price was still going around the pdl in this entire zone and you could see that the pdl was a strong area where a lot of price action has happened in bank nifty today now whenever that kind of a signal is there even if a candle breaks out of the virgin cpr like it happened today this virgin cpr was not yet a reversal sign here in bank nifty and chances are very high that this might just reverse from here again and it might continue more than reversing it might continue its downtrend because this downtrend has start started here so that was not a good quality trade today if you had taken it you were just plain lucky that the market actually went into a bullish mode later but that was not a very strong or a convincing pattern i'm talking about the 9:40 am candle breakout here even if you say that it was the 10:15 am candle see uh, we can mark a line off here and we can say that 10:15 am candle this one was the one that gave a convincing breakout so even if you are talking about that candle bank nifty was still fighting within the virgin cpr you can see here so even that candle was not going worth going long on in nifty so this particular candle here the 10:45 am candle which was this candle here was the one that actually gave a breakout out of the virgin cpr right and by that time this was where nifty had already reached okay but then the problem here was more than nifty bank nifty had a strong bearish candle when it opened and the opening 5 minute candle is a very important candle is what is something that i have already told you and this candle was taking support at the pdl and then the second candle broke out here and you can see that after that price went down 
then it spent a lot of time here and then it reversed from there so there was a high chance that bank nifty might have taken resistance here again and fallen and then it might have gone into the bearish territory again so that is why even the 10:45 am candle was not a good entry a line to mark the high here and then this was not a convincing breakout opening range was not broken by the 11 am candle in fact what you should normally do is once this candle high is formed you should mark this line here so now the resistance is shifted up and then it was this particular uh, green marubozo candle which is the candle here right that is the candle that gave a breakout signal and at the same time 11:50 am candle was the candle that broke out of cpr now if you can see here trend had started right from here and had come up to here so the chance of that trend continuing upwards is very low although this day was a trending day and wherever you would have sold puts or bought calls you would have made money if you had entered the market at any stage so that is a different story but we are not talking about a market which is trending and by the way i already mentioned in my previous uh, analysis video if you haven't seen it please go back and see it that the market was getting ready for a big move and that is exactly what has happened today it was a big move today although the gap wasn't entirely filled today but somewhat the gap has been filled in nifty a little bit of it not in bank nifty but let's check this out this move from the day's low to the high is about 650 points in bank nifty okay and uh, let's consider that for nifty so the s2 was where it took support today that was the day's low and in nifty it was 460 points it is more than 450 points and a very good move in nifty today now after discussing this particular candle here when this candle broke out of that opening range of the day in bank nifty this candle here had broken out of the cpr and as i said the trend had already begun here so the chances of that trade going right are not very very bright although you can see that the price has taken some consolidation at the cpr and i always say that a price whenever it breaks out of a resistance or a strong resistance it should break out with some consolidation prior to it uh, so that rule was satisfied here because you could argue that the consolidation started from here it went up to here and this candle the 11:50 am candle was the one that actually broke out of cpr but in my opinion that was again not a very strong breakout simply because the trend had already started from the s2 pivot and it had gone up to the cpr it's a completely different story that it still continued and went and hit the pdh here at this level today but these days are very very rare okay so the price breaking out of the previous day's range taking support at s2 then breaking the previous day low range as a resistance also then breaking the s1 as resistance at this level you can see s1 written here and then the trend continuing breaking the cpr and then going up then taking swings at this level here and then finally reaching the pdl by the end of the day here so that is not a very commonly seen thing once you start trading in nifty bank nifty particularly in nifty bank nifty only you will start to know the movement of nifty bank nifty and the behavior of nifty bank nifty so this is not a very commonly seen site although the buying was very strong today in many sectors so that is why the rally today but in general this is not a very commonly occurring thing and the best kind of trading is when you actually side yourself with the most commonly occurring patterns and price action so this was what i wanted to discuss with you in this video today uh, this is it's an important thing to understand that once you see that a candle is breaking out of the cpr uh, handling emotions there is very important see this was the 11:50 am candle now here you can see that the 9:30 am candle is where the green candle had formed and then this bounce from here let's calculate it 
the bounce from the S2 pivot up to the CPR was already more than 280 points. Now, how many days have you seen in Nifty that price keeps moving after 280 points? That's a very big move for Nifty. So usually I would say that you should err on the side of caution and you should not be overconfident while trading. Anyway, a fairly nice day today and we can see that Bank Nifty has nicely taken resistance exactly at the CPR, then again taken resistance at the CPR. But Bank Nifty's CPR is not a virgin CPR for tomorrow and even Nifty doesn't have a virgin CPR. So let's go to Nifty uh, screen now and uh, we will just go ahead and mark off this gap. So let's just reduce the gap here now and we will just extend this area for tomorrow's trading session. So let's extend this here and this happens to be the gap. Now you can see that this was the level of 16734.60 which we had marked. So you can see the kind of price action it has shown. It has taken resistance so many times here today. So that is the importance of marking levels. See, it has taken resistance 1 and 2, 3 and 4th time. And it was the 5th time that this particular candle broke out of the that particular range of 16734.60. So that is the importance of marking levels on your charts. So that was the level that we had marked coming from the 25th of February, the previous trading session. So we can delete that level now since it has been broken and you can see that the PDL which was the supply zone here has been broken but that level has been broken only once today. So what you can do is you can mark that level from, from today's price action. So keep this level ready for tomorrow. Although we have a very wide CPR today, uh, tomorrow sorry. Uh, it's obvious given the fact that today was a trending day but that level rise lies exactly above the CPR for tomorrow. This is the CPR, okay? See how wide it is. And this is the level that we have just marked. But still keep it ready. Most often levels close to the CPR are not very effective when they come from the past, but still keep, the, keep that ready. Now you can level, uh, delete this level. You can delete the virgin CPR. And you can see that now the demand zone is very strong from today's uh, PDL. So you can mark today's PDL like this here and you can keep it ready. You can always mark a box around it if you want to be very sure that you're uh, keeping a, a zone ready. And you have a gap and a demand zone coming from a previous uh, few sessions. Everywhere else we have the levels marked. I don't see any more levels that we need to mark here. I will just extend these levels forward and if you need these levels then please grab them from twitter now let's go to bank nifty and let's mark bank nifty levels also see bank nifty spent a lot of time within the virgin cpr today so we will be deleting that it's not no more important but the pdl is very important that is today's day low is very important so we will mark this zone here as a demand zone and if you want, you can mark a box around it also here. So you can mark a box like so. Yeah, that's a good place to mark a box. You could probably reduce the width a little bit. And we can see that this supply zone will still continue forward going ahead. And we do have candles inside the CPR today. You can see here one this is the second one which we have bodies here inside those candles so and we have bodies inside here as well so two times we have bodies inside so four candles are inside the cpr so let us not mark the virgin cpr but still i would suggest you to keep the uh, level ready here above the pdh you can just mark this here like this coinciding with the central pivot and then you can mark a box from the pdl to the line of the central pivot sometimes it is seen that in spite of candles being there within that range we have seen that the central pivot acts as a strong resistance the next day so we will see what can be done about it 
when tomorrow's price action happens the gap just needs to be extended this is the virgin cpr okay this is the virgin cpr coming from the 24th of february this is the level that i am talking about here so that's not a supply zone it's a virgin cpr price might not or won't rather reach there tomorrow i don't think it will rally so much tomorrow tomorrow we have a wide cpr and we rarely see back to back rallies on two back to back sessions in indices it can happen in stocks but not in indices or very rarely in indices okay i think we have all other levels marked and i will update these levels on twitter so if you need them please take them down from there so this is the price action analysis for today if you have understood it please leave comments in the section below and also leave your comments if you like the video and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon so you're notified each time i post a new video thank you for your patience guys and thank you for all your love and support i'll see you in the next video have a great day ahead bye bye